Ruler School is brought to you by Odyssey Games, where you can go to get singles for all your Force of Will and other trading card games, as well as these amazing patrons. Thank you for your support. Enjoy the video. Hey there, Rulers. DMO73 here, bringing you the deck profile for the Alter Lich deck that Paul ran a little while ago. I appreciate you guys sending your flexibility in as, as we try to get caught up. Um, this list is pretty much just using the Alter package to kind of give Lich a little bit more utility and a little bit of an easier way to use his Master Rune, um, as well as just being able to ramp into kind of, it is a kind of aggressive, that mid-range kind of darkness package we're pretty used to. But let's go ahead and just jump into it. Obviously, Lich on the front. Uh, we're pretty much just using it for the front side, or just to, because it's Lich, because we want the uh, Master Runes, but we do have this ability to become a 612 with Bane, uh, and then start generating tokens really, really fast. Uh, going into the stone deck, we are playing 8 Darkness Magic Stones and 4 Stone from the Dark Castle, because we're playing the Layla Altar Package, so why not? Uh, and then going into the main deck, 4 Skeleton Horde. Uh, and for Layla, pretty staple one drop package for this altar list. Uh, one of Oberozuki, just as a way to be able to turn on Layla turn two if we don't have an altar. Um, four Jonah arcs, because again, we're playing a little bit more of the aggressive style. Uh, three Ray the Black Owl, solid darkness card right now. Uh, three I'll say the Harvester to be able to recycle the Layla's as many times as we want, really. Um, three Astima. Excellent card for finishing off the game as well as being able to draw power and being able to get it at instant speed off of the altars. An Oborozuki Collar of Gods, also an amazing card to hit off of an altar sack uh, for only four. Um, and then two Belial of the Scriptures uh, from the end to kind of round out the package here. Um, so it's a pretty standard Darkness Creature package. A lot of other decks are splashing into other colors and using Mana Transmuter. Um, but this is a deck that's going pure black uh, for that kind of mid-range style that it's used to. Going into the spells, we're playing four March of the Dead because it makes for excellent recycling of things like Layla, Oberozuki, all kinds of stuff. Uh, three Sword of the New Moon for some spot removal. Three Life Severing Blade because if you have an altar out, you can turn this on yourself very, very quickly. Uh, two Perfect Matrix because we're Lich and we're ramping so much. So you can pretty often get this as just a four cost remove and, you know, steal two things, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, the three sacrificial altars to go with it. Going into the rune deck real quick, we're playing uh, Jet Black Wings, Demon Division, Freed from the Altar. Pretty standard package right now. Uh, Power of Immortality to be able to combo off with the Layla. And then, of course, we're playing Cycle of Death uh, because Cycle of Death plus Altar is really crazy. So you can, like, Cycle of Death at instant speed when you need to um, and then, like, sack a bunch of your stuff uh, if it's going to die anyway to Altars. Uh, and then your opponent's stuff dies and then you can just sack the Altar to go big, get a big drop to kind of make up for the fact that all your guys just got removed so a lot of cool things that you could do with this list huge thanks to paul for shipping it to us let us know what you think of, of this style of like mono black altar uh we know that we recognize that there's probably going to be a lot of splash um altar decks and we're going to kind of see some of those in the next couple weeks but we at least wanted to show off this one first so let us know what you guys think or what your favorite style of altar list has been so far and until next time this has been dmo 73 saying class dismissed